What's up everybody? This is Chemist Keeps Going. My name is Chemist and today we're going to be talking about money. So if you want to know what I mean, stick with the video. As I said, we're going to be talking about money, but more to the point, we're going to be talking about how to save money. Before we do get into the video, I do want to mention I'm no expert on finance matters. I'm also not sponsored or supported or affiliated with any of the products that I might mention. They're just things that I have found over the years that I've used or that I'm still using and I find that they work for me. So I just want to share some of that information with you guys. Anything that I do mention in the video, double check the description box because you'll probably find a bit more information about it. To start off with, we need to understand the types of savers because some of us are good at it and some of us are not that great at it. Although, if you need me to budget, I can budget because I'm just splitting up the money and placing it where I'm gonna spend it. But saving is a whole different ball game for me. With saving, I find that there are two types of people, the ones that are good at it, the ones that are not. And I call the ones that are good at it, those are ritualistic savers. And then the ones that are not so good at it, I call them squirrels and I'm a squirrel. I'm sure there's a joke about nuts there. <laughs> so basically, ritualistic savers are the people that really enjoy the whole ritual of saving. So they're gonna take money from one account and they're gonna put it into another account. It means that they have a lot of self-control because they can see that amount of money going from one account to another, see it sitting in that account, not being spent on anything and just not touch it. Well done to you guys because that is not me as a person, I'm afraid. <laughs> now, the other type of savers, we are the type of people that maybe get a little bit distracted um, when it comes to saving. The easiest way to maintain that saving momentum is to spread out your assets. Bit here, bit there, bit all over the place. For me, that's something that has worked. It sounds a bit chaotic, but trust me, it's not. I'm gonna talk about Chip. Well, what is Chip? It's a savings app and it's a really good one. It's given me a healthy relationship with saving, which is a good thing because I was never really a good saver. Chip, I came across it about four years ago. I was looking for tips on how to save money because I got to that point in my life where I was reflecting on, on my life. Um, my mother had just recently passed at the time and I knew that I needed to get serious about my life, my finances, what I was doing, where I was going. But I turned to YouTube because, you know, it's that visual encyclopedia you'll find a video for pretty much any subject that you want to search for. Whether the video is good or not, or gives you the information you want is a different story. I didn't really get the answers that I was looking for. It was very practical, very common sense type of videos, like save this much a month, by the end of the year you'll have this much. That approach doesn't work for everyone, me included. I was scrolling through the app store on my phone and I saw this app called Chip and I was like, okay, this is interesting. I checked it out and it looks pretty good. So I was like, okay, you know what? I've got nothing to lose. If it helps me improve my savings, that's great. If it doesn't, it's fine, you know? Nothing ventured, nothing gained, basically. Now, some of you might be wondering, oh, that must be expensive or there must be a contract or something. And no, there isn't. When I signed up, which was like four years ago, it was completely free. They had literally just started and now they're doing a lot better. They're, in, they're a much bigger company. There were no fees at the time and there's no extortionate fees now either. What I have is I have three accounts with them. The free account, an account that gives me, I think 0.25% interest. And then I have the premium account, which gives me 1.25% interest on balances up to 10,000 pounds. The great thing about it is you have an account set aside for you. So it's like your savings account and you are passively saving or subconsciously saving, whatever you want to call it. Because the Chip app, it monitors your spend and everything because it will see, oh, you know, this week it can take out X amount so that it won't affect your spending patterns. And then it will move it to your Chip account and that's it. The premium one is £1.50 a month. For me, that £1.50, 
I would probably spend it on chocolate or something like that. I don't mind paying that £1.50 a month because the benefits far outweigh the cost for me. It puts the money into these accounts, but the great thing about it is you actually have instant access. Tell me, how many bank accounts or savings accounts do you have that give you instant access, unlimited withdrawals, no penalties? It's quite rare, right? With a good interest rate. When I saw Chip Plus One become available, I definitely had to get that as well. The way that it tends to work is every week you'll get a text message in the morning on the day that a save is going to be made and it will say, oh, you know, it's going to save X amount for you. And then you have the option to leave it or you can decline it. And if you decline it, it just won't make a save that day, but it doesn't affect your artificial intelligence saving for you the following weeks. Unlike if you had like a standing order, you would have to cancel and then you would have to reinstate it. And also standing orders are always for the same amount every single time. There are pros and cons here, right? Having been with them for four years, I've only ever had two problems, which were very minor, and I got them resolved within about 24 hours. You just contact them through the chat portal. They respond fairly quickly. I mean, for me, my experiences have been positive. Anyone else that uses them or has used them, if you have had a negative experience or if you're having a great experience, definitely let me know in the comments below because it'd be very interesting to find out. But like I said, this is based on my own personal experiences. I've only cancelled a automatic save once. And the only reason I did that is because I knew that I had a lot of outgoings at that time and I didn't want there to be any problems with my direct debits. I was able to control that somewhat and that's the other good thing about this app it puts you in control of your savings not to the point where you're going to just keep taking the money out all the time i've saved a decent amount it's not to say oh i've got all of it now but when you get an email update every so often the app will tell you your cumulative since you've joined you have saved x amount and with that that's really motivating because it shows what you can actually do. When I saw that, I was like, wow, that's actually really, really good. And it motivates me to keep it up because I know that the money is in that account, but also it's gaining interest. If I needed to withdraw any of it, which I haven't done for a long time, 24 hours is pretty much the maximum it will take for my money to come to me. So it's an easy access account. That's definitely a, a bonus, right? But the other good thing is it really taught me how to be better at saving, or should I say at passive saving? So that's the other thing that I wanted to talk about. Passive saving is something that you can do anytime, but it kind of falls in the category of ritualistic savers because you're putting away a set amount every so often. The difference is you're not manually doing it yourself. You set up like a standing order. I also do that and I do that with two current accounts and two savings accounts. One of them is with Chip, the other one is part of my current account. So I have a building society account, I'm with Nationwide and I've been with them for just over 35 years now. I keep that account because hopefully the dream is one day to be able to buy a property of my own. Having been with them for so long, you do get preferential treatment when it comes to certain products and services that your money providers have. So mortgages, loans, things like that. I keep that account and that's my main account where my salary gets paid into, my direct debits get pulled out of. The other one I have is a Monzo account. And a Monzo account for me, one of the best decisions I ever made. The fact that my Monzo account is so easily accessible, that I just look at my phone and my details are there, I can see everything itemized. It's just really beneficial and it's really convenient. I got the Monzo account two years now, I think, and I've been using it religiously for maybe about a year just over. It was something that a friend of mine just sent me a referral link because they got some sort of benefits from it. I said, yeah, you know what, I'll sign up. It's not a big deal for me. But then I started to realize the potential that that account had. I did something that 
some ritualistic savers will tell you to do and that is pay yourself what i mean by that is from one account which is your main account you have your secondary account you just transfer money over so whenever you get paid or whatever period of the month it is that you need to do it you do that put it into your secondary account and that is your allowance and that is how i've been living for the past year and it's actually worked really well i've not really noticed a dip in my day-to-day -day life with regards to spending money but the amount of money that I saved, I was so shocked because it meant I could have done it all this time without it affecting my daily life because I've, I've not noticed any change in my finance levels. So it means that I was spending this money on things that I didn't necessarily need to. That's what the CHIP app taught me. But then I managed to incorporate that into my Monzo account. With my Monzo account, I have the Monzo Plus, which is a blue card and I pay five pounds a month and it gives me a few benefits. One of the benefits that I love is the um, itemization. You can access it instantly on Google Docs, right? But also in the app, it groups together the products or services that you pay for. So when you go into your statement online, you click on that whichever product and it will show you all the transactions within a certain period of time, which is so useful. You can actually see what you spent where and over a period of time, how much you've accumulated. Like I've given up eating out like takeaways and stuff like that because I looked at my online statement through my app and I saw that I spent so much money over like a three month period on delivery. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but if I'm trying to monitor areas to save money on, this is an area. I'm spending way more than I really need to. It was so good to see that, like just visually see that, like just on my phone, click on it and you can see. And that's one of the perks that I really enjoyed about Monzo because my other accounts, while you can access information online, it's not collated in that way. Also, they have savings pots, they have roundups as well. It's just like having a spare change jar, you know? So for me, that was also great. I really enjoyed that. But I just feel the whole concept of paying yourself on a monthly basis is a really good one. It keeps your finances separate. So the money that you're spending, that's on one account, but it's not connected to your account where all of your finances are tied up, i.e. your um, direct debits, all that type of stuff. So I think it's very good to keep them separate. Now with the savings account, what I do is I have a standing order. So every week I just put 10 or 15 pounds away. And to be honest, I don't even think about it. And I had a look at it the other day and I had to healthy amount you know enough for a decent holiday four years ago i wasn't in this position it's definitely something i can attribute to chip because it opened my eyes to a new way of saving we as people can be quite wasteful with our money not to say like we're just blowing it on this that and the other but if you if i can save a significant amount of money over a period of time without even realizing it what can you do and I don't earn the highest salary in the world. It's great that the app caters to everyone. You can choose the level of saving that you want, low, medium or high, and it is customizable on a regular basis. I would say, have a look, check it out, read up on it, see what you think, be open to it, but give it time. It will take around two months for the AI to kind of understand your spending patterns in order to save the best amount of money for you without affecting your everyday financial life. Space your money out. If you have it in multiple places, it's always gonna be a nice surprise when you check that bank account and you say, oh, I didn't even know I had that. And when I see that, I'm more motivated to keep saving. Previously, I would have seen it as, oh wow, I've got some extra money to spend and then I would spend it. And I'm sure some of you are guilty of that too. But hey, we're all human. So have a think about your finances. Have a think about what it is you actually want to do. Your end goal, regardless of how attainable or unobtainable it may seem so long as you're working towards something that's what will keep you going okay guys so that's some of the tips and tricks that i found over the years that have helped me with my savings now along that journey 
I also improve my credit score. So if you're interested in learning about your credit score and maybe how to improve it, let me know in the comments. I'm more than willing to, you know, do a video on my experiences in that area. What it leads me to say is if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up because it definitely helps other people see my content. Consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you in the next video, guys. Happy saving.